Today we are speaking definitely about a topic that's hot. Everybody wants to write a hit song. So how do you write or produce a hit song? Okay, perhaps not a hit song, but a song that I would like to call Radio Ready. A buddy of mine, uh, Graham Cochrane, on the Recording Revolution, came up with this theme and you know Radio Ready song, and it stuck with me. So well. Radio Ready songs, how do you convert that song idea that you had in your head, maybe in the shower or whilst you were taking a long walk or at your desk at work? How do you convert that into something that can be heard on the radio? Now, in the past, I used to think that when I got the song idea, that inspiration, that it was in the correct format, it was ready to go. And the moment I got it, I wanted to share it with the world. I remember the very first song I wrote. I sang it to my uncle and God bless him. He's still alive and he's still here with us. He can testify. He said to me, just one sentence, it almost caught me in two. He said, ah, you've tried, but you've written two songs in one i was like i don't understand he said you've written two songs your new song is actually two existing songs the tune of two existing songs in one and i felt like but i i just received this i it was out of uh uh anyway awkward but that was the reality so another time in the future i i also got another song idea and i rushed out to give it to a producer who i, I thought would be inspired by what i sent and he was like uh I'm not really feeling this I was like always wondering what is wrong with my song ideas i get these things in a place of prayer now if you're like me and you get all these inspirations probably when you're working at your desk my colleagues at work know this i'm singing i'm humming under my breath but it's a new tune it doesn't leave me i want to do something creative with it the first thing i've observed is that you need to stay with it okay when you receive something in a raw format it is a raw format okay you need to kind of Work with it until you establish what the central theme is. Okay, What's, what am I trying to say? What is this hook? What's the chorus? You know, there could be several beautiful segments of this idea, but not all of them can be choruses. Okay, you need a chorus that's simple, easy to follow, and it's punchy. People can remember it. It's two lines, it's three lines, but it's, it, it, it's the center, it, it has the central theme of what you're trying to say. So you need to spend time to kind of develop this idea. You know, I, I make you know, you know references to myself and the mistakes I've made so you can see that you're not alone. You're not struggling alone. I mean, if you've ever sent an idea to someone, a voice recording, and you send it to someone hoping that they'd be excited and jump on it, well, this is probably the reason why. It is a raw version. You need to kind of work with it to make it more. That brings me to my second point lyrical content you know many times it's a running joke in my choir group when i say ad lib and i i say to them i'm not expecting you to say you are good you are good you are good oh lord oh lord oh lord bless your name bless your name bless your name now we know he's all that we know he's good we know he's lord we know bless your name those are rhetorical things can you tell us a bit more you know, can you give us more information? We know that what you're trying to express, but can you give us a bit more? And that's where the lyrical content comes in. I wrote a song not so long ago. It's titled Engraven. I'll put the link in the video below. And the chorus of that song was just one, one sentence. You were mine, you were mine, you were mine. That was the entire chorus. You were mine, you were mine, you were mine. And Okay, now I know a bit more about songwriting. I probably could have done a bit more with that song. You know, you are mine because I love you. You are mine because you're so rare. You are mine because you're dear to me. But looking back now, I see that it still worked because it had verses that explained the central theme, what I was trying to say. I've engraven you in the palm of my hands. You know, um, I've engraven you so I would not forget. You know, and that explains what I was trying to say in that simple but punchy chorus, hopefully. So you can check it out and see what my songwriting journey has been. And it's lyrical content I think that people from my demographic fail a lot on. You know, we're very rich on rhythm, you know. We're rich on punchy beats, which is great. But we fall down when it comes to writing lyrics. There's so many lyrical themes that have been overexplored and I think we should begin to get out of our comfort zone and look for stuff that's outside on the peripheries. 
or right, I'll give another example. Uh, a while back, I wrote a song which was titled. Now, it's not all about me. I'm just bringing out examples because I don't, I cannot be copyrighted for this. So the song was a simple song. It was, uh, you left me standing in the rain. That was the theme. That was the chorus. You left me standing in the rain. And the title of this song was supposed to be In The Rain. I had played with this song for so long, I had no clue what to write as a verse. So I reached out to my friend, you know, John Nova, and I said to him, please help, I'm struggling. And he sent me back in the same afternoon, chords and lyrics to this song. And he just started with, you know, I built my world around you, but what I really built were castles in the sky. And I was like, wow. And he took it from being just an open statement to become, well, a boy meets girl kind of song. Now, unfortunately, I haven't produced that song. It's one of those things that you just keep in the archives. Maybe a movie, maybe a commercial might come along that might suit that sort of theme. But that was another thing about collaborating when I got stuck. Somebody else was able to fill in the lyrics and it just added a story element to what I was trying to say. Which brings me to my third and very important part of producing and writing. Obviously now we've got our lyrics, we've got our theme, we've got some structure to the song. We now want to put some music to it. You're gonna get your shakers out. You're gonna get your beats out. If it's Afro beats, you wanna get that rhythm section going and everything sounding just right. But if you don't know how to produce, this can seem like a very, very long winded assignment. Okay, so what I'm going to advise is that you make friends with people who know how. Everybody knows somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody who makes beats in their basement. Okay, you know, you can't afford a studio, you can't, you've got no budget, that's fine. Don't let that be the thing that stops you. Go out and find friends. It could be in your circle, in your church, your local assembly, your local fellowship, a colleague at work. Find somebody who knows something about putting loops together that can bring a structure or music around what you're doing. Obviously, you need a budget if you're going to do something more professional. But hey, we're not trying to wing the Grammy here. We're just trying to do something that takes us from having that recorded idea on our phones to having something that we can share on social media or on the radio. And it brings me to the fourth one, which says mix and master your song. Mixing and mastering was a dark art, it still remains a dark art. A lot of people don't even understand what mix and mastering is. Like it's just one song, but this one song has got more than 56 different elements. Uh, just your voice, that's one element. Then you've got a backing vo vocal. If somebody's going to sing the chorus along with you, and one backing vocal, two backing vocalists, three backing vocalists, that makes four elements. And then you've got a guitar there, you've got pianos there, you've got a shaker, you've got various elements. You know, the more complex you want to make it, the more beautiful it could potentially sound. But you need to get it properly produced, mixed and mastered. And that is something that if you don't have audio training, you can seek out help from those who have audio training to get your work done. But you know, if you're enthusiastic, just like I am, you get stuck in it. I got into audio production because I just couldn't afford to pay a producer. And yeah, 10 years in and I'm still finding my feet. But it's been a wonderful journey. And I tell you, if you're interested and you've, you know, you just have got nothing to lose really, why don't you get stuck in? You never know what you'll find. And plus, in this day and age, technology makes it so affordable, so much easy for everyone to get in and try to start to do something with their audio knowledge. You know, YouTube, when I started out, there wasn't any YouTube, you know, access to YouTube was something else. But today, YouTube is pretty much accessible to most of the people on the planet. So if you search, you might find something that will steer you in the right direction. Make an attention grabbing campaign about your song now at this point your song has moved from that crappy or should i say very raw version on your phone to something that's ready to be shared you know it's had it's passed through so many other people collaborating with you it's gotten to this point now i think it's about time you share this with the world make a lot of noise about it let people know you either make the best you know announcement or the worst type of advertising for this either way 
you get noticed okay so you put out an ad that says it's coming soon it's, you know it's it's a it's a professionally taken photograph of you you know be as happy as you can smile you're paying for it and put it out there on social media share it on all your platforms let your friends and family know let your enemies know if you have any that you know something is coming out you know this is your first time coming out this is the first take that you'll be making your first furrow into this whole world of production and songwriting so yeah why not celebrate it's a milestone you've earned it so celebrate put it out there let people know and and um, let them give you feedback the other thing i need to let you know is people wouldn't just like your songs you know just because you put it out there okay so you have to be a realistic this is the first time it's gonna take a while for people to actually know you and um, get comfortable with you know receiving stuff from you and that's just normal that's human nature you know when you think Tiger Woods today you think oh you know you think golf when you think athletics you think of Hussein Bolt and it's taken time but people have associated them over time with these things if I said golf and you said Hussein Bolt, I'd think uh, Hussein Bolt, he might play golf, but that's not what he's known for. So if you said you just released a song, people would say, really? You know, that's not what we know you for. I mean, you're a project manager, you do this, you do that, but songwriting? So then you need time to let them get convinced that this is something that you're really passionate about. So yeah, manage your expectations, you know, make a lot of noise about it, get it out there, tell people about it, share it at every opportunity that you have. And I'm sure that, you know, the enthusiasm, the hard work you've put into it will shine true. It's very important to share what you've done because a great song that nobody hears you know nobody can judge you know how do we know it's a great song if we've never heard it so we're talking about songs that are going to be a hit song it have to be on the radio has to be heard by people has to be liked and shared so this has just been my five tips really it's not exhaustive in any way i'm sure we can you know break each one down and see how you can be if you're struggling with writing lyrics as i said reach out to a friend let them help you collaborate you know very important have fun that's the most important part. Have fun. It's a learning curve and you're going to spend several years of your life hopefully learning as you go and hopefully getting better too. So that's been my rant for the week. If you liked what you heard, please leave us a comment. Leave us a comment regardless and please click the like button. Click the subscribe button as well. I'd love to see you and speak to you next week. Bye bye and God bless.